In this video today, I'm going to be teaching you how to fix resin 3D prints that fail halfway. First reason I put down is to basically make sure your resin prints are free of residue. So the actual resin vat, if it has like um, leftover, you know, print kind of basically uncured resin, that's like slightly cured. So it's hard enough to kind of get in the way of, um, you know, the optical light then that can stop kind of like a section of your prints um, from actually printing. And then that ends up uh, basically, yeah, stopping a section and then that, that can cause it to fail halfway, right? So if it's like some kind of important like foundational part that you need uh, during the print, then if that's not printing properly, then you're likely gonna see a print that fails halfway, right? So you definitely wanna kind of have a good look. Uh, make sure that you clean your resin vat. What I like to do is use a scraper. I'm gonna scrape it here. So you can kind of just kind of feel around um, in your resin vat. You don't wanna be too rough with it because obviously it's um it's very, you got the, the plastic film, the FEP sheet. So you don't wanna be kind of like jabbing into it, but you just kind of wanna softly feel around, make sure there aren't any kind of uh, you know, slightly cured parts in there. Um, you can also do the longer process of filtering it out, pouring it back into the bowl and then pouring it back in, obviously with a filter, to make sure you catch all the resin parts and clean it out. Good way if like there's some resin stuck down is to kind of use your fingers underneath and kind of gently kind of prop it up around where it's stuck down onto the FEP sheet. And that usually is a good way to clean it out. So make sure your resin that is free of residue. Next thing is to check your LCD screen where the actual light is. Um, yeah, basically, if your light is kind of dirty, if you've had you know some kind of resin spill and you didn't clean it up properly, that can cause a certain section of the LCD screen to not um, print properly. So, same with the first reason, like further into the print, it can cause a resin. You know print to fill halfway so you definitely want to take the lcd screen i know they have like an exposure test where you can light up all the um all the led bulbs so you want to try that make sure all the bulbs are working properly um same with like turn up your your uv power if your printer has that i've got the um, any cubic photon mono x so that you can change the uv power so make sure to have a good amount of power on that that everything's kind of working good. I've got try not to overfill the build plate um, to lower the suction pressure. So I think that's to do with if you have too many things on the build plate, if you, yeah, rather than actually like overfilling it with liquid, it's more so the actual build plate because when you have like a raft, it creates like a lot of suction pressure um, as it's going up and down. Because you've probably heard maybe your FEP sheet kind of makes a suction sound when it's going up, especially if you have um, a lot of prints on a, on a build plate. So you want to try overfilling it, but if you do, um, you want to make sure you have like a hole. Some I think it's better to have two holes at least. So one's kind of there for air, and the other's there to like re uh, let resin out. So yeah, making if you if you do overfill your build plate. Make sure you have um, enough holes to kind of negate that and that should hopefully stop you know prints thin from halfway. We've got here rotate your prints so yeah I remember in the early days I used to have a lot of print failures um, I wasn't sure why but when I started rotating the prints and then doing the supports um, it kind of allows for more I guess space for it to um, to print properly um, yeah you want to have a, your angles and orientations right so basically helps your your print kind of go through better i guess um yeah your supports that's a big one you know supports kind of make or break a model when it comes to resin printing so you definitely want to you know learn how to do your supports properly you need to learn where to put light medium and heavy supports I know there's a lot of videos out on YouTube that you can check out, so i definitely check those ones out. It's a good idea to take the time, because imagine like 20 minutes, 30 minutes of your time learning how to do supports. 
um, can save you, you know, hours on end from like a print feeling halfway. So you definitely want to take your time while doing the supports, you know, check for the islands, um, which are basically where if you have an overhang like that, you know, you want to make sure all of these parts are supported there underneath, because if not, it's not going to print. It's going to come to this point and, you know, the thing's not going to print in the middle and it's going to like pancake, they call it. Yeah, so definitely make sure your supports are good. Um, you don't want to use light supports where you need heavy supports. Basically, wherever your prints need a lot of help, which obviously support is kind of in the name, you want to use um, heavier supports and you want to use multiple from different angles to help it kind of, you know, stay on the build plate or stay with the print rather than being like suctioned off for it. Next reason is uh, level the build plate properly. So, you know, you might have a print that's working fine for a while, but overall, like further down the line, if the build plate wasn't leveled properly, um, it can cause like, um, like a side to kind of fail on you, especially if it's like halfway through the print, if it's like a more complex model, just that leveling it at the start kind of stops um, a good foundation for, you know, the rest of the print. So. Your leveling your build plate is one of the vital kind of things you need to do with resin prints to make sure it doesn't fall halfway. So I definitely check that. You know, if you haven't re uh, leveled your bed for a while, it's it's never too like bad of an idea to level it and make sure it's, it's gone. It's actually you know, well leveled, especially if you're having like multiple um, you know print failures. If if like you're not getting print failures, that like, your bed's probably doing okay, right? Um, and then yeah, your FEP film, I definitely check over that, you know, they're not built to last forever, you know, they can last a long time if you, if you handle it right, but after a while it starts to get cloudy and then the light underneath doesn't, you know, kind of pierce through properly, or you can have like small kind of scratches and bumps that can negatively affect your, your print. So yeah, after, you know, doing one of your cleanings for your resin, you know, with that, um, check over the build, the, the FEP sheet, make sure it's all in order. Um, if you do find it has some damage or like some imperfections, sometimes you can basically do smaller prints but angle off to the side where it's not damaged to, you know, prolong it for a bit. Um, but you want to be careful with that because you don't want to like end up getting a hole in there and then you know you get like a resin spill like resin spills are not fun to clean up i've had to do a few of those before so yeah you definitely want to be careful with that ideally you change it for a fresh one make sure it's installed properly you know follow a good you know like tutorial on how to change the fep sheet and yeah you should be good to go so that's yeah that's a good reason why your prints might fill halfway right and then last one is set your exposure time correctly so that's your bottom exposure and your normal exposure so basically your exposure time is that's what's curing the model that's what's making it like harden so if you don't harden it enough it's going to kind of be weaker and the more the print goes kind of the more weight is the more weight and the suction pressures are, are acting right so yeah if your prints aren't you know like hardened enough especially with the supports then that can cause it to fill halfway you might like pull away a vital support that you needed and then your print just like kind of doesn't print the rest of it right so yeah make sure you set a good bottom exposure time um depending on your printer you can look up usually good times for what works for other people um they have like databases where they have like spreadsheets on a good exposure time and bottom exposure time for a specific printer and even the resin so it's like user um, reported self-reported like uh, just numbers I guess so those work pretty well um, and yeah you should do like a resin exposure test or validation matrix that's a good way to figure out your normal exposure time so yeah definitely check that like with each resin and that should put you on the right path to getting the um, the right exposure time so yeah hopefully those tips help you to you know stop getting those halfway kind of fails with your resin prints because those can be pretty annoying 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's helpful. Thanks guys. Peace out.